rose. Yet holding on to that one in a million chance of a dream, they forsake getting an education. And some don't even have plans for the future. And they throw their lives away to drugs, alcohol, and violence. But, but of course, it wasn't always like this. In the days of slavery, literacy was one of the most desired and treasured things a slave could have. It was the black man's only weapon against the rest of America. If slaves had an education, they could get a job, they could break free from slavery, and they could rise from their lowly position in life and bring the next generation the same opportunities. Slave owners knew that educating black people would upset the power structure, so reading and writing for slaves was outlawed, and teaching slaves to read and write was punishable with a hefty fine. In those days, slave owners aimed to, in the words of slave owner Willie Lynch, mm. keep the body, mm. take the mind. Yeah. Yeah. After the Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves, blacks were finally given the chance to learn, but it was limited. Schools were segregated between blacks and whites. Blacks' only schools were poorly funded. They were also overcrowded with the children of former slaves hoping to learn. Even in these condi conditions, though, blacks continue to pursue an equality education. This pattern of poor education for black people persisted until 1954, when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned the law allowing for segregated schools in the court case of Brown versus the Board of Education. However, since many predominantly white schools weren't near blacks or they costed too much, and since racial tensions were still high, schools remained in a way, segregated. Today, new civil rights laws, better racial relations, and many more opportunities open to blacks that could remedy this situation, such as tuition and public transportation, give blacks the opportunity to go to these schools. However, with the things mentioned above, also came a sense of complacency and satisfaction for the norm. Black people became okay with the current standards of education. They began to accept schools with low to mediocre funding, with overworked and underpaid teachers, with little effort, and a bleak and unforeseeable future. I say that that's not at all acceptable. I'm not okay with the status of things, with low-funded schools and unmotivated students letting life's opportunities pass.